Courtney, look a little bit forward here if we can. We've had two uh, painful days for, for equities, as Jonathan says. But the next two days will be really, really interesting, especially with the expectations game that we all play. Got a services report tomorrow, jobs report Friday. What, what should we be looking forward to? Yeah, and I, I actually have to disagree here. There's generally about three, five percent corrections of the stock market a year. We've only had two so far. So I think just seeing a down day isn't necessarily something we need to get worried about right away. Because we got some manufacturing data that wasn't what we were expecting, but we are a service as economy now. And so I think looking at that one piece of data doesn't mean that we're necessarily going into a recession or anything we need to get too overhyped about. Right. So, yes, we do have a couple days here going forward. I think Friday seeing the jobs number is going to be really important because at the end of the day, having a strong consumer is what's going to drive the economy. And seeing those unemployment numbers still low as they have been near those 50 year lows right now is going to be a good thing for the economy. Last part, uh, Courtney, is jobs. You brought it up already. So I want to ask you about Art's comments saying he expects a substantial increase in the number of jobs last month when we get that report Friday morning. What do you say? I have to agree. I mean, I think seeing some really strong numbers is what we're expecting here. And we haven't really seen any of this bleed into the consumer or into the overall economy right now. Yes, you're seeing some things like manufacturing data not be where we need it. But at the end of the day, it's really what we want to see. Is that unemployment going to be as low as it is? And it might actually lead us to see how is the trade wars affecting things, because we are seeing companies aren't necessarily as willing to employ some of their cash right now when they have the uncertainty of the trade wars and not knowing what those costs are going to look like in the future. So seeing if that does get into hiring at all will be interesting. But so far, we haven't seen that. All right. Uh, thanks to our panel. Good stuff on a busy day. Melissa. Thank you.